WordPress makes it easy to upload and share media files on your website, but replacing an image is a bit tricky, especially if the file's used in multiple places or embedded on other sites. Hey everybody, Josh here, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to replace a file in the media library without FTP access or changing the path or file name. The Replace Images plugin is a free tool that lets you change any media file in your WordPress media library without changing the path or file name. It's perfect for replacing an icon or a logo embedded throughout your site or uploading revisions to a video or a downloadable PDF. And you don't have to have FTP access to play around with updating the slug. This little plugin does it all in the background. In this example, I've got this video of a dog added to three pages, but I wanna replace it with this video I found of dogs working because I think it fits the brand better. But if I just upload the replacement video directly to the library, I'll then need to go from page to page to page and replace the link with the new file. This can be pretty time consuming if the file's embedded in a bunch of different locations. So with the Replace Images plugin, we can actually upload the replacement video and the link will be updated everywhere the video is embedded automatically. So to get started from the WordPress dashboard, go to Plugins, Add New, and type Replace Images in the search field. And click Install Now. This plugin adds a single simple button to the media library that uses WordPress's styling and integrates seamlessly with the dashboard. So now when you're viewing a media file, you'll see this replace image button. Clicking the button opens the choose replacement image module. You can select another file from the media library to replace the file with or upload a replacement file. I already uploaded the revised video, so I'll select it. It's important to note here, the file you're replacing will be deleted. So if you're wanting to keep a copy of the file you're replacing, you'll need to download or make a duplicate before replacing the file. But this is a great feature because this is a revision. I don't need to keep a copy and it's going to keep my library from getting bogged down by unused media files. If you see two copies of the file, as noted on the setup page, you'll want to hard refresh or clear your cache. So you can disable the browser cache just by opening the developer tools in Chrome. You can right click and click inspect here and then go to the network tab and check the box next to disable cache. This will only disable the browser cache while the dev tools are open. So once the files properly replaced, when we go back to each of the pages and refresh, you'll see the new file was automatically embedded. And that's across every one of these pages. And that's it. Now you can replace your files without logging into your server or messing around with the database. If this little plugin or tutorial saves you time, we have a bunch of other free plugins on wordpress.org. And you can check out our premium plugins on aspengrovestudios.com. Don't forget to go give us a five-star review and for other helpful tutorials that simplify WordPress and e-commerce, follow and subscribe. Enjoy.